So whenever you're grinding metal, you want to have some water. And I had a glass of water sitting over here on where this camera is sitting. And uh, I was over on the uh, uh, other table over there looking for my Dremel tools and pieces. And the cat all of a sudden jumped up and ran off. And I thought, I wonder what bugged her. Well, she had been drinking water out of that uh, glass and spilt it all into the chair. So now I'm sitting in a wet chair. Uh, I was going to put this in the vise itself and grind, but then you have the problem of quenching, you know, if it's if it's locked in there. All the other ones I've done before, I've done by hand. I've held it and gone up against a grinder. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. And basically, you just... It'd be nice if you had the shape on both ends, but you just start taking... And this is, like I said, this is going to take a while. The reason why I'm, I'm using this uh, shape is because it looks like it's going to get the bug apart just right. Anyway, this is what you do. You, you grind a little bit. If you can touch this tip and it's hot to your hand, like too hot to touch, then you haven't been quenching enough. And uh, again, a bench grinder would make short work of this. So there you go. That's, I'm going to turn this off, but that's what I'm going to go through. I'll do it in stages so you won't have to hear all this grinding and stuff. But uh, this particular tip towards the end of it is about the right depth for my Bogota cut, which is what I'm going for. So I'm just going to grind and quench, grind and quench, and I'll come back in stages. I'll show you how it's been done after I, if I don't get electrocuted sitting here in water.